Hey there, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today, we're diving into the world of parallax effects using Figma. So let's jump right in without wasting any time. First off, I've grabbed some labels from Freepik. You can find the link in the description. I have also removed the background from the image. Now let's duplicate the can. Add a rectangle over it. Now mask the rectangle with the can. Change the blend mode of the mask group to multiply. Now you can change the color of the can according to your needs. To copy this color, just select here and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now paste it here using Ctrl plus V. Next, cut all the labels using Ctrl plus X and paste them using Ctrl plus V into the masked group. Now create two duplicates of the cans and change their colors. Let's start designing our page. We'll begin by crafting a nav bar. Let's add some text to it.
The first page is all set. Now, let's duplicate the frame. In the second frame, shift all elements except the can. Now, change the placement of the can. Let's add some text in the second frame. I'll just quickly add the other texts. Now copy all the texts of the second frame and paste them inside the first frame. Move them outside of the frame so they will get hidden. Now create a duplicate of the second frame. Follow the same process for third frame. In the third frame, shift all elements except the can and add new content in the third frame. Copy the third frame elements to the second frame. Move them outside to hide. All right, let's continue our process. Create a duplicate of the fourth frame. Move all the existing elements aside, except for the can.
Now introduce the other cans into the fourth frame. Next, copy all the elements except the green can. Paste them inside the third frame. Move them outside of the frame to hide them, ensuring their opacity remains unchanged at 100%. Now, let's add the prototype to the frames. Let's test it out. Looks like it's working flawlessly. Let's apply the same prototype settings to the other frames. Let's fix this button issue. Notice how their names aren't consistent, causing it not to function correctly. Let's rectify that by updating their names. There we go, now it's working perfectly fine. Now, let's create a going back interaction. Oops, encountered a hiccup. Let's fix this. Make sure to enable animate matching layers. Perfect, that's sorted. Apply the same prototype settings to all the frames. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment and share your thoughts. I love hearing from you, and your feedback helps me to create more valuable content for you. That's all for now.